to The Trashler. I'm Callie, and I'm sadly getting used to the taste of Dayquil. This week was a bloodbath. It was a firefight! Not one, not two, but eight girls went home this week. <laughs> hee hee hee, okay, I counted wrong. It was actually 10 girls that went home this week. 10! That's how many people are in BTS. Plus one more! Then another two, you dumbass. But seriously, a moment of silence for our fallen comrades. Oh, I'll miss them so much. On the bright side, we've finally reached the point of the show where we have no more randos. This is my favorite point of any Bachelor season because it finally starts to pull away from toxic girl-on-girl -girl drama and more towards my favorite topic, hooking up. Oh, yeah. Pilot Porny Peter and the remaining Brandy Melville employees head to Costa Rica where this happens. I will say I genuinely laughed with Pilot Porny Potter for the first time ever when he told the girls that it was from a standoff with a puma. Props. Sydney gets her first one-on-one -on -one and Pilot Porny Potter tells her she's the best kisser. She goes in for the kill and hits his injury and it seriously looks like Voldemort is coming back. She later tells him that she never had a relationship with her father and Pilot Porny Potter instantly gives her a rose because <laughs> that's hot. It's funny though, because she ultimately goes home this week and he already told her she was the best kisser. So her personality must suck. Kelly the lawyer goes to a Costa Rican shaman where Pilot Porny Potter basically tells her to join his cult. I know this works. And if you give yourself to this, I promise you it can. Yeah. And the shaman answers a question with, Pendulo dice que no. Pendulum says no. Which is officially my new response to everything. For those of you who don't think Kelly the lawyer has more filler in her face than Kylie Jenner, Pendulo dice que no. Pendulum says no. The gang is now in Chile, where Pilot Porny Potter announces that he got his stitches removed, exactly like a 13 year old girl who just got her braces off. Today I got my stitches removed. Another week I'll have the bandage off. It's about to get hot. Our beloved Herner gets a one-on-one, -on -one, and I pray to God that I never have to watch people make out with sour cream ever again. Quick note, if someone asked you on your second date, are you sure this is what you want? Are you really in this? Because I'm very serious about this. Wouldn't you call the police? Pilot Porny Potter is just so scary and manipulative on this date that I just want to hug her nern and bring her back to the Gryffindor common room. The next group date is filming telenovelas because apparently Pilot Porny Potter grew up watching novelas. We also get a second one-on-one -on -one with Bad Witch Victoria because the first one was, you know, interrupted by her ex-boyfriend Chase Rice. They go to a ranch and it is so awkward because she also used to date one of these horses. The girl with the infinity tattoo on her finger is an anti-emotions, anti-women, anti-being supportive to literally anyone monster. She goes on her first two-on-one -on -one with McKenna and they ultimately both get sent home. McKenna is so devastated about this. <laughs> Girl, when I was 22, I was literally dating a convicted drug dealer, okay? Do I have any regrets? Pendulo dice que no. Pendulum says no. My winner of the week is my bedroom wall for its new piece of framed art. My loser of the week is, you guessed it, Pilot Porny Potter's face. I mean, can we get some better color matching for this scar makeup? And why is he so sunburned? You literally look like Santa Claus. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh my god. <laughs> Is this hot?